What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Conversations with Candace. I'm Candace, and we're going to be conversing today. Let's talk about the newer chrome key black and white backdrop. It is a pop-up backdrop that is portable, and I purchased it from Amazon. But as you can see, I'm not using it. And the reason is this. I did not think through exactly how I would use it or how it would stand or what it would need to hang on, but it was a really good backdrop if I had the space and the equipment to use it. So I will show you how I unboxed it. I will show you how I set it up and then you'll kind of see why it didn't work out for me, but it absolutely might work out for you. Because my workspace and my bedroom are the same thing, you can see that my bed is right behind me. So I have about a foot of space behind my chair when I'm sitting here and I don't have enough space to have a rack that could hold the background behind me. Also, because I'm shooting for YouTube and not in and not in a vertical uh, position, the 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 width of it is what I need, but it doesn't really hang width wise. It only hangs vertically and that doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for my shot. You can see the black outline of it. And even though the dimensions are large, um, it's not quite large enough to cover the entire back area when I'm sitting, plus get my head and my body in uh, the screen at the angle that I want. Um, and it won't stand up by itself. So all of those things just made it not right for me. Now, what I did like is that when it was behind me, um, you couldn't even see like wrinkles in the fabric, even though the fabric was wrinkled. My camera picked up the fabric as one solid background on the black side and the white side. So if you don't need a wide angle or you don't need a certain dimension uh, of height, if you're sitting a little bit lower than I am, the background would work perfectly fine for you. But if you're sitting at a desk like me um, and you can't lower your chair anymore, then you're going to have to figure out either how to hang it um, horizontally behind you to keep the black trim from showing um, or you're not going to be able to use it. I will say that I had a bit of a trouble collapsing it back down. Like you'll see when I opened it, it popped right open. But the collapsing part just takes some time and you kind of have to like wrestle with it. And honestly, I was sweating when I was done with that. It's probably something that's best if you just leave up. But one of the features is that it's collapsible and you can travel with it. So you're going to have to work out trying to get that down every single time you want to move it somewhere else. So just all of those things combined um, were just too much for me and it wasn't worth me keeping it. Now, Amazon does have a really good return policy. You can take it, just take it to Kohl's. They'll scan um, the email that you get from uh, Amazon and then you're refunded basically an hour later. And that that's what I did. That's what I did. I got my money back for it. It was really cool to try it out and demo it, but ultimately I did not keep it. If you're a photographer and you shoot up close, perfectly fine for you. Um, if you're a blogger, but you have a different type of camera setup and you don't have to shoot as wide as I do because I'm using a Mac a MacBook um, it would absolutely work for you it's a beautiful background nothing was ripped some of the like reviews said it was ripped but mine was not um, it was in perfect like condition and delivered right to my door and I can't complain about that part of it I may try it again later if I get a different camera set up and I can kind of do my shot a little closer into my face and not have to have all of this set up behind me showing but um that's about it that's about it for the background it was okay I just could not use it for what I needed it for um I hope that's helpful for you Right now it's showing out of stock, but they do have other colors. So check it out. Go on um, Amazon and see if you can find something to fit your needs. Thank you for watching this episode. And until next time, y'all have a good day.